the highest peak in Luzon, the playground of the gods, a biodiversity hotspot, a sacred springboard to the afterlife, the ultimate Cordillera adventure. Towering to 2,926 meters above sea level, Mount Pulag is the highest mountain in Luzon and the third highest in the Philippines. Situated in the southern portion of the Grand Cordillera Central Mountain Range, this great mountain covers 11,586 hectares and straddles portions of the provinces of Benguet, Ifugao, and Nueva Vizcaya where local indigenous peoples such as the Ibaloy, Kalanguya, Kangkanay, Ikarao regard it as a sacred site. Aside from the locals of the Cordilleras, thousands of other creatures' lives depend on the preservation of Mount Pulag's many splendors. Today, Mount Pulag is recognized as one of the centers for plant diversity in the Philippines. With 42% of all known plant species growing in its unique habitat being endemic to the mountain. It is also considered a biodiversity conservation priority area, being home to various endemic animals. Mount Pulag is also an important bird sanctuary for both local migrant and endemic birds. Avid birders might want to watch out for endemic species such as the flame-breasted fruit dove, the whiskered pita, the water redstart, and the white-browed jungle flycatcher. They find refuge in the trees of this majestic mountain, mingling among pine needles, taking part in the chorus of the forest. Declared a protected landscape on April 8, 2022, Mount Pulag is a favorite trekking destination and is considered to have the most beautiful cloudscapes and summit landscapes of all the Philippine mountains. Mount Pulag can be many things to many people. Bearing within its slopes hidden treasures revealed only to those who tread its paths with mindfulness and respect. While hiking up its trails, visitors will notice the landscape slowly transform from picturesque pine forests to lush mossy forests carpeted with ferns and lichens. As you near its summit, the scenery morphs into its iconic grasslands with its rolling hills softened by dwarf bamboo or yushan cane. Such scenes can be accessed through one of four trails, Ambangig, Tawangan, Ambagyo, and Akiki. The Ambangig Trail is regarded as the easiest and most beginner-friendly, thus making it the most popular among visitors. One can begin hiking in the morning and reach the grasslands by lunch or midday. The Akiki Trail is less popular among beginners, as it is also known as the Killer Trail for having steep, challenging slopes. It is through the Akiki Trail, however, that hikers can encounter the Edit River and take in the gorgeous views of Marlboro Country. Brown, wide landscapes reminiscent of scenes from old Marlboro commercials. Other notable sites are Lake Tabeo and Lake Bulalakaw, also known as Lake Ambulalakaw. Lake Tabeyo is an important water reservoir that locals can rely on even during the peak of summer. Its banks are framed by scattered homes, terraced farmland, and lush pine trees with the silhouette of Mount Tabayok looming in the background. Lake Tabeyo makes for a serene campsite, an excellent starting point for climbers who want to scale either Mount Tabayok or those who will hike up Mount Pulag via the Tawangan Akiki Trail. Another must-see lake is Lake Bulalakaw. It is speculated that the name is derived from the locals' experience of witnessing shooting stars streaking across the sky over its waters. The locals are quite protective of this lake and with good reason. Lake Bulalakaw is regarded as Cordillera's cleanest inland lake, 
with DENR officially giving it a Class AA rating for water quality in 2004. While it can be tempting, swimming and other water activities are strictly prohibited in order to preserve its pristine condition. While there are so many activities to choose from, a trip to Mount Pulag definitely wouldn't be complete without reaching its summit and watching its iconic sunrise over a sea of clouds. It is there that every hiker truly understands why Mount Pulag is believed to be the playground of the gods. With Mount Pulag having so much beauty to offer, it's only right that every visitor learns to treat it with utmost respect. Respecting such a sacred place begins even before you set foot on its slopes as you plan and prepare for your hike. Proper planning and preparation is necessary not just so you'll have an enjoyable trip, but to make sure you and the people around you travel safely and responsibly. As much as possible, avoid scheduling your trip during the rainy or typhoon season to minimize the chances of encountering extreme weather. However, make sure to prepare for any sudden changes in weather by bringing gear and equipment that will keep you warm, dry, and as comfortable as possible during your hike. Ensure that your boots are in good condition. Tents are still waterproof and that you have sufficient warm but lightweight clothes as temperatures can drop to below freezing. Make sure to bring enough food and water that will last for the entire hike. While there are some sources of water on Mount Pulag, potability cannot be ensured. Climbing Mount Pulag begins at the visitor center where every hiker must register and familiarize themselves with proper decorum while at the national park. Hiring a guide for your group is also mandatory to ensure everyone's safety while hiring a porter for your gear is optional. You will meet your guides and porters at the next stop, the ranger station. Once you begin hiking, make sure to stay within established trails in a single file to avoid damaging Pulag's flora and fauna. This is also why all visitors may only set up camp at designated campsites and may only relieve themselves at established latrines. All other waste and trash must be carefully packed and brought back down with you on your hike back. Not even food waste should be left behind on the mountain. Strive to leave Mount Pulag even cleaner than you found it. When preparing meals, only proper camping stoves may be used for cooking. Building campfires is strictly prohibited. This is for everyone's safety. During your visit, you're sure to encounter many beautiful plants and possibly some interesting animals. You're more than welcome to admire and observe, but keep your distance from animals so as not to disturb them. Visitors are also not allowed to cut or uproot plants for any reason. It's tempting to bring home exotic finds, but we must leave them in their natural habitat where they can truly thrive. You may also bump into other visitors or some locals. Be considerate of others Treat everyone with courtesy and make sure to respect the culture and beliefs of all those who call Pulag their home. While in the midst of nature, let nature's symphony sing loudest. Keep your voices at a minimum and avoid playing loud music or making any loud sounds as much as possible. If we follow these rules, hike with respect, leave no trace, and strive to keep Mount Pulag pristine Everyone can enjoy its unmatched splendor for generations to come.